supposed to be somewhere here, I... Uh, who the fuck are you? What are you doing here? I... Uh, you... This is... Your house? I had no idea anybody lived way out here. Why do you live so far from civilization? You look... Relatively... No, no. Actually, no. Don't answer. There's no time. Hide me. Yes, hide me. They're right on my tail. Not literally. Well, one of them was literally on my tail about half an hour ago, but I managed to pull them off. No, I, I don't have a tail. Not right now, I mean. But look, there's no time. I will tell you what's going on, but you heard those gunshots, didn't you? You must have done. Those muskets are loud. They're close. I can't. There's no time right now. Please. I'll tell you everything. Just hide me. And if they come by, tell me you didn't see me. Please. Oh. The door. I, I didn't realize it had come right off its hinges. Fine. Hold on. I should be able to just lift it back onto them. work out. Look, now, please. Please. Somewhere to hide. Under the bed. Is that... Okay. Fine. But I'm not sure I'll fit. there anywhere else? A basement? <laughs> I thought the floor sounded a little hollow. That would be perfect. How do I get in? Oh, it's under the bed. Okay, fine. <clears throat> ah. 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 I see. Good place for a trapdoor. Well... Will you be able to push that bed back into place when I shut the door? Yes. Okay. Fuck, that's them. Okay. I'm gone. Remember, you never saw me. Evening. Sorry to bother you. I hope you're keeping well. <clears throat> okay, well, we're tracking a, a undesirable through this area. Something you definitely don't want about the place. Have you seen or heard anything unusual? Um, well, if you must know, we don't generally tell people so as not to alarm them, but it's a werewolf. My colleagues and I are hunters with a license from the Crown to rid the country of those scum. So have you seen anything? You're quite sure. We did see it heading right this way. You were sleeping. I see. Well, you wouldn't mind if I come in and have a quick look around, would you? If you were sleeping, it could have entered quietly without your knowing. They're tricky creatures. Good. Won't be long. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. These... Muddy footprints on your floor lead into the bed. They're yours? Hmm. So you were so exhausted from hunting that you came in and went right to bed without taking your boots off. I see. Hmm. The prints look rather larger than your feet. When was the last time you looked under your bed? Uh, well then, perhaps you won't mind if I... Ah! Ah, there, there it is! Well, it must not be here after all. 
Thank you for your time. Stay inside and keep your doors and windows locked. Gone. That timing was lucky. But what was that howl? There were no other wolves in the area that I know of. What's that look for? You look outraged. Oh. Yeah, well. Of course I was gonna tell you that I'm a werewolf. As soon as there was time. Look, you'll have to forgive me. Typically the reception, when I tell someone what I am, is not positive. Can you blame me for trying to keep it to myself? No. However... I am sorry that you found out from that hunter. I was going to tell you, truly, once you'd shown that I could trust you, you know, once that hunter had come and gone and you kept my secret. I'm very grateful that you did that. Just lucky that whatever it is that Howard chose that moment to. That hunter was about to find me, I'm sure of it. Oh, you did that. How on earth? You were right in the room. Surely it's not possible to throw your voice like that when someone's right next to you. How did you? Yo, keep it down. Come on. They could still be nearby. Impressive magic and everything, but please. Oh, I see. It's an illusion. Only I could hear that, then. Very impressive. Okay then, I haven't, I haven't really spent any time among spellcasters, it's all a mystery to me that. But wait, if only I could hear that one, then how come both me and the hunter could hear it the first time you did it? Why do you target us both? Oh, I see how it is. You thought I'd, what, just burst out of the trapdoor? You really think I'd do something that stupid if I was backed into a corner? Well, damn, you might be right. I was this close to jumping out and ripping his head off. Although, I know there were at least three more outside with muskets trained on your front door. They would have been in here in no time and that would have been it. For us both. So... You saved me, I'd say. You saved my life. If I hadn't stumbled into your little house here, and if you hadn't been willing to trust me and hide me, I'd be toast. I don't know how I'll ever be able to show you how grateful I am, but know that you have an ally for life in me, if you... if you want such a thing. Well, not many people would take friendship with a werewolf as payment for the risk you've just taken. In fact, most people would be happy to never see me again. I'm glad that isn't you. <sighs> yes, I am exhausted. What gave it away? Was it the huge dark circles under my eyes? My legs, so tired from overuse that they can barely hold me up right now? God, they've never shaken so hard. In fact, I... <sighs> just how thirsty I was. I'm sorry for spilling it everywhere. I was a little over-eager. You know, I wouldn't accept water from just anybody. In fact, 
I'd accept water from almost nobody. It could be poisoned. You never know. So I hope that you take it as a sign that the trust you showed me when you kept me hidden goes both ways. I'm not sure why, but I feel I can trust you. Instinctually. And I usually trust my instincts. Of course, I, I'd love to show you how grateful I am, though I'm not sure how I could. I don't have anything to offer you but the clothes on my back, and those are tattered and torn from... Well, I'm sure you can figure that out. So, how can I show you my gratitude? What are you pointing down for? Do you, you want me to go back to the basement? What are the bucket and mop for? I... Oh. No. <laughs> the muddy footprints. Those are mine, huh? Well, I don't know, and hey, some of them are the hunters. Yeah, I, I did lead him here. You got me there. Ugh. <laughs> Fine, I'll mop up for you, as a show of gratitude. I have some pride, you know. I'm a werewolf, for God's sake. An apex predator. And you have me here, mopping your floor for you. <laughs> it's almost funny. In fact, it is funny. <laughs> I don't get a chance to laugh very often. Why? Am I grateful to you for asking me to mop your floor. Is that, is that what's happening here? What have you done to me? I think I might be. This sort of domestic chore. So far removed from my usual life. Not the sort of thing I'm used to. <clears throat> there we go. Anyway, I think that's all done. Oh, I missed a bit. Well, all right, of course. Okay, are you happy? I mean, it feels like what you did for me is worth a lot more than a little cleaning, so. <laughs> yes, if you wanted me to, I would be happy to do a little more. Tomorrow, perhaps. I actually... Enjoyed that, if you can believe it. Quite a change of pace for me. I'm not... I'm not normally the subservient one, if you catch my drift. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Serving doesn't come naturally to werewolves. But in this case, I'm willing. Listen, I hate to ask... You've already shown me a lot of kindness, but I, I, uh, I have one more favor to ask. I can't believe you're even willing to hear it out, but thank you. Well, do you know what tonight is? Do you follow the phases of the moon? <laughs> yes. You guessed it right. Tonight is the full moon. Which means that... Well, you know what it means, I'm sure. I don't need to spell it out for you. Fine, then. If you want to hear it in my words. I will transform. When the sun has set, and the full moon is high in the sky. A few hours from now. It doesn't matter if the moonlight doesn't hit me. It doesn't work that way. And in my wolf form, I... Have you ever met a werewolf? Do you have any idea what it's like? Once before? You have? Well, that makes a change. Perhaps stumbling across your home was somehow even luckier than I thought. 
Well, then, you'll know that once transformed, uh, I lose almost all trace of my current self. Sometimes, some particularly strong memories and feelings remain, but most of the time, nothing. Something has to have made an incredibly strong impression on me for my other half to know anything about it. Oh, I... I don't think I could remember the last time I've been able to recall anything in my lupine form. There might have been someone, long, long ago, who stuck out enough in my mind that I knew not to harm them. But it didn't last. Hmm. And of course, I, I almost completely lose control of my behavior. I'd stand absolutely no chance of staying hidden from the hunters as a wolf. Mm -hmm. Like this, I can be quiet, stealthy. If you can believe it, after I broke down your door like that. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm quite good, actually, at evading capture in this form. Most of the time, anyway. But as a... As a wolf, I'm loud, violent, and I have no control over it. I'm more likely to try to hunt the hunters than evade them, and I know from experience that that never works out well. All this is to say that your basement it seems strong, secure. I think that if you were to chain me up there tonight, let me transform down there, somewhere out of the way, safe. I don't think there's any way I could escape if the chains were strong enough. I saw some old hunting traps being stored down there. The chains from those would probably do the trick. Hmm. If you secure me with those, I should be able to last the night down there without doing any harm to me or anybody else and without being discovered by the hunters. If you do that for me, I'd be forever in your debt. Honestly, if you think I'm grateful now, after you hid me for a minute, how would I ever repay you for keeping me for the night? Well, if you are willing, we'll get to that when we get to it. So, are you willing? Will you let me stay? <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, I want to... I want to get to know you. This isn't normal for me. I'm normally solitary. We have to be. I've had too many close calls with the people I... The people I was close to, once. Well, we may not see each other again when I depart in the morning. But for now, tell me about yourself. Who are you? Why are you living out here? You mean to say that you've been cast out from society as well, like me? Why? Did you... Did you commit some crime? Are you... <laughs> You're not a wolf too, are you? I'm not sure that two werewolves sharing a cramped basement together overnight is the best idea. <laughs> no, I didn't really think so. I would have been able to smell it. I can always smell another, from miles away. There are none around here. So then, what is it? What caused you to be cast out? Oh, a changeling. That would explain things. <laughs> I know that your kind are not viewed favorably, shall we say, in broader society. Then we have something in common. I did think... Well, I didn't smell anything about you in particular that made me suspicious. Rather, it was the absence of any smell at all, save your clothes. No sweat, no musk, nothing to identify you personally. Huh. Mm, no, I don't mind. On the contrary, I think it's probably a useful trait to have. If I were hunting you... You'd stand a much better chance than the average of getting away. 
Being able to sniff out my prey is vital. I wouldn't be able to do that with you. Not if you took your clothes off, anyway. <sighs> let's, let's hope it doesn't come to that. <clears throat> I have to say, it's nice to meet another outcast. I'm sure you know. I'm sure you don't need me telling you. But it gets lonely out there. Constantly on the run. No. Well, it seems like you have managed to settle down, at least to a degree. I suppose if you're able to take on the guise of a human, you can live without being given too much of a hard time. Are people ever suspicious of you, living way out here on your own? <laughs> you're right. I was. I regret it now. I shouldn't have been so quick to judge you. I'm sorry. You know, after today, I, I think I... I think I need to rest. So... Shall we... Uh, might be strange, I don't want to seem over-eager, but... Shall we get those chains on me? Then I'll be able to sleep without worrying that I'll turn without having been restrained. Yeah, I think it's for the best. Will you come down with me? Help me get them on. Thank you. Okay. These wooden pillars holding up the floor above. Do you know how stable they are? <clears throat> then that's fine now. They seem sturdy to me. Of course, I'm stronger once transformed, but I think this should be okay. If we take a couple of these, wrap them around the pillars, and then around me. Could you fasten them at the back? It looked like there was a hook at the end of one of them that you could use. There. Yeah. Here. I think that should do it. I won't be able to reach around my back like that when I'm transformed. The, the muscles get in the way. So, as long as these chains and pillars hold, I shouldn't be able to get out of here. Listen, if you hear anything in the night, and I'm sure that you shall, don't come down. I, I'd like to think that I'd recognize you. And not harm you. But I can't make any guarantees. Especially not with your lack of a smell. I wish I could, but I can't. So it's not worth the risk. Yeah. Stay upstairs till the moon has set and the sun has started rising. By that time, I should be back in this form. I'll probably be pretty beat up, so... I may to ask for even more of your help in the morning, I'm afraid. I hope you are still willing by then, and I hope I won't have destroyed too much of your basement. Of course I'll do what I can to fix it up if it comes to it. Thank you again. I'm so grateful for your kindness. I'll, uh, I'll see you in the morning. Smell. And 
was a wolf I could sense it. <sighs> I've never... I've never smelled that before. You are... You... What is this? What have you done? I can think... And I can... <clears throat> I'm not tearing you apart. <sighs> Why aren't you running? You should be running away, terrified for your life. <clears throat> Run. Why not? <sighs> I don't think I'll be able to hold myself back from this. smell. Hmm. Hmm. Seems like now I've attuned to your scent as a true wolf and as a hybrid. I can pick it up in human form too. That's good. I wouldn't want to, uh, you know. Well, I, I wouldn't want to forget it. It's good. And Having to transform every time I wanted to smell it would be a bit of a pain in the ass, wouldn't it? <laughs> no. Maybe you wouldn't mind. You'd be the first, but I can believe it. <clears throat> no. What is it about you? Hmm? What is it about you that somehow stopped my frenzy? In the same situation with anybody else, I would have torn them apart. <laughs> Hell, I did still want to tear you apart. So much. But something stopped me. What do you think it was? I don't know. I haven't got a clue. I don't know how this whole thing works. It's something that happened to me, not something I chose. This werewolf crap. And ever since it did, I've spent my life on the run. Never had time to learn about it. So I'm just learning as I go. Like everybody, I guess. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> you know, it's, uh, it's been a long time since I woke up next to someone. I'd forgotten how it feels. <sighs> you know, you'd have had every right to stick me back down in that basement. I'm glad you didn't. Hmm. I'd, I'd stay here all day if I could. Hmm. But no. I can't. 
I need to get on the move again. I'm sorry. I have to. I can't stay in one place for more than a day. They'll find me. I know they will. In fact, I'm surprised that nobody heard the racket we made last night. Even if we are in the middle of nowhere. You must have been able to hear the echo from a mile away. <laughs> Why do you care where I'm going to go? I... I mean... Ugh. I'm sorry. I'm grateful that you care. I'm just not used to it. I'm used to being chased away, not asked to stick around. And shit, I wouldn't normally want anybody to know where I was going. That's the whole point. I'm trying to disappear. But... I don't know how I can say no to you. <sighs> Fine. I... I heard rumours of someone across the border. Rumours of someone who found a cure for vampirism years ago. Decades even, maybe. Of course it was only a rumour. But it's the best hope I've got. The only hope. Best by default, I guess. I, the best hope of... Of getting rid of this fucking curse, of course. I don't want to be this forever. It's fucking miserable. So, the way I see it, I've only got two choices. Either lay down and die at the hands of a hunter, or find some way to cure myself. <laughs> Fuck, I don't even know if cure is the right word. Is it a disease, or a curse, or both? I'm clueless, and nobody else seems interested in figuring it out. Not in this land, at least. The hunters sure aren't. They seem perfectly happy to just keep on killing us. Well, once the vampire hunters of the other land were much the same. Vampirism, lycanthropy, whatever. Hunter guilds attracted the same kinds of people. They simply wanted a license to kill, and that was the easiest way to get it. Hmm. Yeah. Rumours say they may have changed. Developed a cure for vampirism based on the work of this one fella. I don't know. Could all be bollocks. Aside from this vague rumour. You know, we hear almost nothing coming out of that other land. And presumably it's the same for them about us. Almost nothing gets across the border. <laughs> You're right. Trying to cross the border to chase nothing but a wild rumour is a stupid idea but it's the best idea I have. It's... It's the only chance there is of shaking this thing, as far as I know. If that bloke actually cured vampirism, if it's not total shit, then I can't think of anybody else who's more likely to be able to help with this. <sighs> Look, uh, I'm tired. I'm tired of being on the run. It's been my whole life for years. Last night, lying with you. That was the most comfortable I've been in a long, long time. I know that trying to get across the country and cross the border is one of the most dangerous things I could be doing, but spending the night with you has only made me want to do it more. I want this. Every night. Uh, uh, you know, not necessarily with you, but maybe if you're interested. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. Uh, God, my clothes are fucked. Really should have taken them off while I was down in that basement. It just didn't seem right to do that while you were up here. Hey, uh, you know that thing you did last night? 
No, not that, I mean the spell. The one where you made the hunter hear a wolf from far away, or whatever. Do you have any other tricks up your sleeve? Like, could you repair my clothes? I reckon these are beyond a needle and thread. Huh. Oh. Why won't you? I need to go. I, I need to get on the road. And I need clothes to wear. To oh. Huh. That's it, isn't it? You... You don't want me to go. <sighs> oh. <sighs> it's funny. Making a connection with someone and finding solace in their company after being alone for so long. It's made me want to deal with this all the more, but also makes the thing I have to do to deal with it that much harder. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. What a mess. Part of me wishes I hadn't met you. It's complicating things so much. Why did I have to stumble into this shack, huh? <laughs> Why? Isn't it obvious? Come on. I know changelings are meant to be a little oblivious to how people work, but surely you realize what's going on here. <laughs> no, it's just raw instinct with you, isn't it? Well, I don't feel like spelling it out to you. Suffice it to say that you telling me that you don't want me to go has made it so much harder. <clears throat> please, please just fix my clothes and let me get out of your hair. I'm sure in a week or two you will have forgotten all about me. It'll be easier for us both if we just disappear from each other's lives. <clears throat> but shit, what else is there? I need to go. I need to follow this rumor. It's my only hope of being normal again. I can't just drop it, and I can't delay either. Whoever this guy is, if the rumors are true, I have no idea if he's alive or dead. But I don't want to delay an extra day only to find out he was on his deathbed and I was one day too late. Oh? Okay. What's your idea? And please don't tell me that, it's, that I should just settle down here and get comfortable. It's not going to happen. I can't. I have things I need to do. <laughs> uh, okay, sure. What? You're just going to up sticks and travel across the country, across the border, for some werewolf you've only just met? Don't be stupid. I know we, I know we had a good night last night together and shit, there's clearly something between us, but you can't do that. No, it would be, I mean, do you have any idea how dangerous this is going to be? For me, I mean, because you're not coming. Well, it's going to be fucking dangerous. Travelling the hundreds of miles alone to get to the border will probably kill us. Me. Not us. You know, there's, like, a huge no-man's land before you get to the border. It's dozens of miles wide. Nobody goes there. No. Nobody. Then the border itself. I mean, fuck knows what protections are in place. You don't cross the border and survive, it's just... It's my only choice, and I'm not putting you through that. I wouldn't put my worst enemy through this, let alone someone I... Someone like you. I... I... No, I, I don't actually know what's at the border, or what stops people crossing, but... Everybody says it. Everybody knows. We all know how dangerous it is. 
I don't know how you seem so in the dark about it. <laughs> yes, in some situations, a fresh, ignorant set of eyes might be useful. But not for this. You need to be prepared. No, I... That's not what I was... You know, you have a tricky way with words. But I, I guess, to a degree, you're right. I can't really be prepared if I don't actually know what's at the border. But at least I can prepare for a challenge. <laughs> what do you mean? What if it's not dangerous? Do you hear yourself? It's the border. Everybody... I mean, everybody knows that... <sighs> Shit. What if you're right? What if it's just bollocks? What if there's nothing stopping you from crossing? And it's all just a myth to keep people away? <sighs> no, you... You could be completely right. In fact, I... You know, I've always thought it was pretty bloody strange that nobody really knew the details of what happens if you try to cross over. There were always scary stories, you know, things you might say to keep children in line. But nobody actually knows because nobody's tried. Or, I suppose if they have, they either died or crossed over and stayed on the other side. How have I not realized this before? You're... You're a genius. <laughs> Fine. If you... If you really want to... Come with me. We'll travel together. I... I've always wanted... I mean, the lone wolf thing really wasn't for me. I tried to pretend that it was, but... I've missed... <sighs> you get the idea. Sorry, I'm not one for mushy language. <laughs> yes. Must be strange for a werewolf, right? We're normally so romantic. <laughs> but not me. Now... Uh, now that it's agreed, we'll travel together. Will you please fix my clothes? Just a few more moments. What for? Hey, stop looking down there. <clears throat> Fuck it. Fine. Look if you want, but hurry up. I'm getting cold. <clears throat> <clears throat> Finally. Thanks. <clears throat> you did a good job. These feel comfier than before, somehow. Right. Let's, uh... I mean, I don't have anything to pack. What do you think you'll want to take with you? Um, this place is pretty sparse. Yeah. Nothing but a bow and a knife. That's good. It's good to travel light. We can hunt and forage for food as we go. I haven't had any problems. You hunt much? Hmm. Well, I can show you the ropes. It's not too... I assume you're not expecting anybody. Hunt. It's the hunt. But there's only one of them. I'm sure of it. Probably just come to do. One last check. I'll let you know it's all clear. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I'll hide behind the door. You let him in. I'll throw him into your basement and lock him in there. Then we leg it. Okay. Okay. Ah, yes, hello. You're on official hunt to business. I assume you don't mind if I come and have another quick look around? Still one on the run, you see. And, good God, what's happened in here? 
Ah, fuck. Ah, I can't believe that worked. Come here, you. Let's get out of here. That guy will be okay. Someone will find him. We need to get on the road. God, I'm glad I found you. This is going to be so much easier and more fun with you by my side. Hello. Over here. Good evening. Sorry about the... You know, this place. I don't know what I expected, but... It was something higher class than this. You'll have to forgive me. Oh. You've been here before, then. At least you knew what to expect, I suppose. It'd be worse if this was an unpleasant surprise for us both, not just me. Uh, I, uh, I got you a drink in already. I hope that's not too presumptuous of me. There wasn't much to choose from. It was mead, ale, wine, or milk. I hope I made the right choice. Good. Well, at least the drink's okay. <sighs> yeah, not bad. So, uh, <clears throat> thanks for, God, why am I saying thanks? Thanks for coming out with me, anyway. Yeah, you know, it's, it's hard to meet new people in a new city, especially one like this. I've not been here long, so I don't really know my way around. Uh, three days. Yeah, that's it so far. You're the first person I've really talked to. I mean, I'm here with a small group of people, we're travelling together, but I wouldn't exactly call them my friends. When we're not working, we don't spend a whole lot of time together. Just isn't like that. Yeah. Thank you for selling me that blade, by the way. It was a lucky thing that I bumped into your stall in the market. Yours seemed to be the only one selling actual weapons, not shiny little trinkets. Hmm. Everybody else was just selling toys, really. I mean, some of them were literally meant for decoration. Others were... And I guess they were intended to be used in some kind of way, but... I know a crappy blade from a mile away. They last a few days tops in a serious situation. All the signs are usually obvious. Some of them are heavy and imbalanced. They'd be no good in a proper fight. You wouldn't be able to move quickly and precisely enough. Others were... Obviously already second-hand and already dinged up. There'll be micro-cracks all over the place. They could break after the first strike, for all you know. I saw plenty of loose cross-guards, too. They're only for decoration, really. The best among them were still mass-produced and made without any real care. You could tell from the lack of... But... Wait. You're testing me, aren't you? <laughs> Of course. You knew all that already. You were the only true smith of the lot, as far as I could tell. Or at least, you knew enough about what makes a decent blade to only stock the good stuff. Tell me, which is it? Are you a smith? Do you make the blades yourself? Or do you just know what stock to buy and what to steer clear of? Hmm. Good. Thought as much. Those muscles are yours. You wouldn't be built like that purely from buying and selling. Those come from swinging a hammer and working the forge all day. I respect it. Yeah, where I'm from, people work hard. Everybody does. But here, in this city, I don't know. Seems like a lot of people are out to manipulate you into buying junk while doing as little work as they can get away with. 
Guess they're merely doing what they have to to get by, but still. I'll always value honest craft over that. So, it's nice to meet someone like you here. I'm glad we struck up conversation. Or me? Ah, uh, I'm just passing through, really. I don't know how long I'll be in town for. Depends on... Well, it depends on things I can't really control. Work stuff, you know. Nah, it's, uh, it's pretty boring. Not worth talking about, honestly. Just involves a lot of travelling. <laughs> no, no. No, I'm not a travelling salesman. Do I seem like that type of person? It's... Okay, it's a little more interesting than that. Perhaps I undersold myself. Uh, we're not really supposed to... You know, we're not meant to tell people. Well, because if any old stranger finds out, it could uh, compromise my ability to do my work, if you know what I mean. You don't. You don't know what I mean. Shit. Uh, well, ah, fuck it. You're not going to tell anyone, are you? And you're not one of them. I don't think you're one of them. You don't have the vibe. Or the smell. Can I... Can I trust you? <sighs> Aye. I reckon I can and all. <sighs> Alright. I'm a hunter. There. I said it. <laughs> no, no. No, not that kind of hunter. That would be very... Uh, anticlimactic after that build-up if I was literally just hunting rabbits every day, wouldn't it? <laughs> no. No, I don't hunt rabbit or oh deer. I'm after bigger, stronger game than that. Hardly game at all, really. Every day, I risk my life doing what I do, and I have to travel across the realm sometimes in pursuit of my prey. That's what I'm doing now, moving as a pack with my fellow hunters. Hmm. Are you... Are you sure you want to know what I hunt? It's not for the faint of heart, it's, uh... It's grisly stuff. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm a... I'm a werewolf hunter. You know, I'm... I'm used to people looking a little impressed when I say that. <laughs> I mean, most people don't even know we're still around. But we are. Keeping everybody safe. From the shadows. Aye. This city probably wouldn't even exist if it weren't for the Hunter's Guild. Once, this realm was swarming with werewolves. Just as the next was with vampires. If it weren't for us, living here would be impossible. You might think I'm being cocky or overstating our importance, but it's true. People don't think about it much today. They have the privilege not to think about it, and for that, they can thank my forefathers and the other hunters who've given their lives to make this a safe place to live. I'm a killer. <laughs> I'm no killer. Not the way you say it, anyway. I'm a hunter. I hunt vicious beasts that would tear your throat out just as soon as look at you. It's not like I'm killing people. Those things aren't people, they're monsters. And we have to rid the world of them. You know, I'm not used to... Uh, I shouldn't even have said. I'm not used to having to argue about this. Whether it's right or wrong. Have you ever met a werewolf? If you'd met one and looked it in the eye, I don't think you'd be so quick to doubt what I do. <sighs> anyway. Sorry. I don't mean to argue. I get it. Some... 
Some people don't understand what it is that we do. They think our time is past. I mean, most people don't even know we exist. But no. We remain a bastion of safety. Without us, it wouldn't be long before the remaining wolves regrouped, multiplied, and before you know it, you'd be outnumbered again. Without the Hunter's Guild, you'd all be toast. Think that if you like. You know, I respect your doubt. I respect that you have the guts to tell me that to my face. Most people, if they recognise what I am, would mutter behind my back. So, fair play to you. I like it, actually. And I guess that makes it my job to persuade you. Oh, yes. I'm in town for a reason. Like I said, I'm here for work. Just for a few days, most likely. I'm afraid to say that there's a good chance that after this evening, we'll never see each other again. Although, that's up to you. Ah, no. I don't think I can tell you that. I really shouldn't have told you what I do in a general sense. That was silly of me. Must have been the ale talking. Strong stuff. Actually don't drink a whole lot normally. Gotta stay sharp with my job. No, no, I really can't. Surely, surely your curiosity is sated by knowing I'm a hunter. You understand why I can't tell you exactly what I'm doing here, don't you? No, sh no. Don't try to guess. And look, please keep it down, okay? Just a little. I know it's rowdy in here. Chances are nobody's going to overhear us, but you never know. Yeah, I'm cautious because, well, they walk among us, you know. Werewolves. You know what they are, right? Even if you've never seen one. Everybody knows. When they're not in the guise of hideous beasts, they look almost exactly like you and me. Unless you can get a good look in their eyes, or a good sniff of them if you've got the nose for it, then you just can't tell. As long as they've managed to find some clothes that aren't ripped to shreds, that's usually a sure sign, so look out for that. God, what a question. No. I don't think there are any among us tonight. Of course, as a seasoned hunter, I do make sure to have a good look around whenever I enter somewhere new. I was watching the door for a good quarter of an hour before I came in, and I took up in the corner for a bit after that as well. I wanted to make sure I wasn't being watched, and that there wasn't anybody else in here afraid of being watched either. They're shifty like that. No, I think we're safe. But you can never be sure. That's why it's so important that the Hunter's Guild remains strong and anonymous. I... <sighs> Fuck, I shouldn't have told you. <clears throat> Stupid of me. Don't know what came over me. <sighs> no, you... You seem... You do seem good. You seem okay. I mean, you spoke your mind to me. I'd be more distrustful if it seemed like you were holding back. So, I'm sure it's fine. But, please, just keep this all to yourself, okay? What I am, nobody can know. You could tip it off. It? No, I, no, I just misspoke. I, fuck. Why'd I say that? Dickhead. <sighs> Fine. Look. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why I'm in town. God knows why. I don't know why I feel like I can tell you this stuff. Just promise. Okay. Promise you won't tell anybody. Okay. Me and three others, 
three other hunters. I've been stalking this wolf for a while now. It's a weird one. Doesn't hunt in a pack like they normally do. It's tricky and slippery and stealthy. We've barely been able to keep up with it. Testing all of our skills. And I think it's currently somewhere in the forest, just outside the city, but it won't be for long. It moves quick, like it's on a mission. So, we're keeping tabs on it, and trying to stay aware of its movements. Ah, good question. I wish I had an answer. We don't really know what it's up to. Not for sure. But, a couple of times now, we've managed to talk to people that it's had a run-in with. That's pretty rare, you know. Normally, if someone has an encounter with a werewolf, they don't live through it. This one seems... I don't know. I don't want to say merciful. It's a beast like all the others. But still, there's something different in the way it operates. <laughs> yeah. Leaving people alive ain't usually the werewolf modus operandi. But anyway. These people say that it's looking for a cure of some kind. Which is nonsense, obviously. There's no such thing as a cure for lycanthropy, save for death. That's the cure that the Hunter's Guild administers and has administered for decades, to great effect, I'm sure you'll now agree. We... Uh, no. We don't really know how he's... It's... Expecting to find a cure. It might have happened, but... No. No, I, I can't say that. That's truly too far. Wait. No. How do you know about that? Who the fuck are you? Oh, just a rumor. Well, shit. I guess. I. You and I are... We're gonna have to talk outside after this. You know. I. We are gonna have to stay in touch. I can't leave here tonight knowing there's someone with all this knowledge just wandering around. <laughs> but, yes, you're right. The Werewolf Hunters Guild of this land does occasionally make contact with the Vampire Hunters League of the other land. And yes, the rumours you've heard, they're true. Vampirism was cured decades ago. As far as I know, there are no vampires left. But as a result, the Vampire Hunters League has disbanded. No, we don't want that. We don't want that fate for the Werewolf Hunters Guild. Not out of pride or out of defensiveness. No, we know it would be bad for this realm. Vampirism might be cured for now. But who knows what the future holds. The curse could change. It could come back. The world needs hunters like us. We're not willing to see the guild simply disappear. Not when we believe the world will always need us. <laughs> no. Of course we're not going to try to adopt the cure. Aside from the reasons I've just given, frankly, and why not be frank seeing as I've already told you so much, we don't think werewolves deserve to be cured. Not after the harm they've caused. A matter of survival? No. It's us who are trying to survive in the face of a threat that you... You clearly just don't understand. Who are you? Anyway, why have I... Why have I told you everything? I just... What? You... You're... You're a changeling. We heard that it was travelling with a changeling. It's you, isn't it? You're the one that... It's... Well, well. It is good at tricking powerful people into fighting for it, isn't it? You won't escape us, you know. Go on. 
Do your worst. Uh, hey, you're right. You weren't followed or anything. Uh, no, I'm sure you aren't. I trust you. <laughs> no, I'm not that good at sneaking around. Staying quiet, avoiding being seen, at least, not compared to you. You've got that on lockdown. I'll stick to the tearing people apart and breaking down doors. Mm. No, tearing people apart isn't actually something I do all that often. In fact, I've, I've tried hard to avoid it. You'll be pleased to hear, at least... I hope you're pleased to hear that. Most people probably would be. <laughs> you have an odd sense of humour. You know. Most people don't make jokes about being ripped into little pieces like that. But I'll take it. I think I'd prefer to make jokes about that kind of thing than always be on edge, if you know what I mean. Right. So... As long as it's a joke, I'd be happy to tear you to shreds. Maybe, maybe not even as a joke. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, tell me, uh, sorry, lost my train of thought. What were you? Yeah, that's it. Tell me about what you learned. What were they sniffing around town for? Are they still on our trail? Ah, oh, shit. Okay. That's not really what I expected. Damn. Okay. No, I thought we might have been able to lose them while we were still in water deep. Wishful thinking, I guess. I just really didn't expect them to be able to track us through a dense city like that, you know? Yeah. They're better than I thought. I forget how many of them there are, so... Hmm. What else? Oh, fuck. Really? They know about the cure for vampirism? You mean... Hold on. Did they speak about it in absolute terms? Like it had been confirmed to them that it's true, that it really exists... That it worked? God. Okay. That's... That's a breakthrough, that is. I would never have expected. I mean, of course, I had a lot of hope that it was real. It was all I had. I was holding on to it for dear life. But... Hmm. No. If it was just one guy... Maybe he was exaggerating. We should still stay realistic. It might not exist. He could have just been trying to impress you or something. <laughs> of course. Who wouldn't want to impress you? Look at you. I know you're a changeling and everything. You can look however you want at a moment's notice, but... I don't think there's any form you couldn't take where your natural... Uh, Natural beauty shines through. <laughs> how, actually how, have you got me going on like this? I don't know what you've done to me, but travelling with you has really changed me, you know. I can feel it already. It's like a transformation, but not that kind. Don't worry. Uh, I, I think it's... It's having something to fight for, other than myself, you know. I didn't realise how important it was. I've got no choice but to take this all a lot more seriously. Now I've got someone by my side. <sighs> anyway, enough of that. Did you learn anything else? <laughs> Good. 
I'm glad they're fucking arseholes. It would make it much harder to be fighting against them if it turned out they were a bunch of absolute sweethearts, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah. I can't say that's a surprise, though. I've had enough run-ins with them now to recognise that every single fucking hunter out there is a total cunt. A band of psychopaths, every last one of them. Pick any hunter at random, and they will probably have killed more werewolves than a whole pack of werewolves will have killed humans. And they'll be proud of it, too. Nothing more than savage killers. Exactly what they... <sighs> I'm sorry. I know. You've heard it all. There's no need for me to tell you again. Mm-hmm. You're very sweet. I... I'm so glad to have found someone who feels the same way. You know, someone who understands. Uh, uh, what else? Or was that it? How did you get out of there? Did you have any trouble with him? <laughs> what? You... You attacked the guy. What? <laughs> and killed him. No. Just stunned him. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> well, I admire your guts. How do you manage that? Did you lure him into an alley or something round the back? Can't have been too hard for you to do that. No way. <laughs> In the middle of a tavern. God. All right. Fantastic. I love it. <laughs> I hope that really strikes fear into their hearts. It should do. <laughs> You're amazing. Is there uh, anything else you think I need to know? Oh, they already knew I was travelling with you. Wonder how they knew that. But, yeah, okay. Good. Yeah, good. I'm proud of it. Fuck them. I can, I can imagine that filthy sneer with which he must have said changeling. I know what they're like. <sighs> Makes me sick just thinking about it. I'm honestly surprised you didn't just kill that guy right then and there. I'm not sure I would have been able to stop myself. But I know you have better self-control than me already. <sighs> Shit, what a day. Thank you for going into the city and doing that all for me. You... You put yourself at a lot of risk, you know. I'm very grateful. Hmm. Yeah. In the past, I either would have had to have done that myself and... Like I said, I'm much worse at the sneaky shit than you are. Or go without this vital knowledge. So, thank you. You really are incredible. And I'm, I'm so grateful. As much as I want to do something. We need our rest for tomorrow. It's already late. You've had a long day in the city, and I've spent most of the day hunting and stuff, so we don't have to keep doing it piecemeal while we're on the road. Yeah. I've got plenty packed up. Means we can cover more ground during the day, instead of having to stop and hunt. So... God, I really want to get into something. But, no. Look, let's, let's go to bed. We're sharing a tent anyway. We can still be intimate. I just, if I do too much with you, I don't think I'll be able to stop. No. What you did for me today, thinking about you going face to face with my enemies like that and 
fighting for me. It's really fucking hot. But tomorrow, this is definitely one of those moments where I need to show some rare self-control. Okay, tomorrow, once we're well rested. Come on, let's sleep together. Did you hear that? Yeah. There's someone out there. Or something. It could just be an animal. In fact, that's probably all it is. No need to assume we're being hunted right this second. No. But still. Probably best to have a quick look. Let's just do a quick loop around the edge of the clearing. See what we see. I'll go one way. You go the other. We'll meet back up on the other side when we've both been halfway round, right? Okay. I'm not too worried, you know. We make a good team. If anybody's out there, I don't think we'll have any trouble either fighting them off or getting away. I'm sure of it. Better safe than sorry. Though. Right. You go that way round. I'll go this way. See you on the other side. Hey. I didn't see anything over this side. All clear. Did you? H Hello. Where are you? <laughs> what are you laughing for? Did you... Did you find something funny? Oh, I see. You're hiding from me. Right. Well, come on out. I feel wide awake now, so... We might as well pack up and move on. <laughs> okay. This is very good. You're very good at hiding. But... Come on, we've got no time to lose. Uh, I don't think I'm being too serious. We're on the run, you know. It is kind of a serious situation. So, you know. Look, come on out. Don't make me come looking for you. Hey, don't tell me to lighten up. You lighten... No, actually, don't lighten up. If you got any light, you'd probably float away. And I have an odd enough time keeping track of you as it is. <laughs> Why on earth do you want me to sniff you out? What do you even mean by that? Is this some kind of game to you, this whole on-the-run thing? It's very serious, you know. There's no time for games. <sighs> Fine. Okay. If it's the only way I'm going to get you to come help pack up the camp, I'll track you down. Don't know why you want me to do this, but to be honest, I don't really want to know. <sighs> oh, this won't be too hard. I'm afraid to say. Your scent is so distinctive, I'm not going to have any problem finding you. I reckon I could track you from over a mile away. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. You're this way, aren't you? <sighs> Were you using some kind of spell to disguise the direction of your voice? I was getting no clues at all from the sound. Normally, I use my ears just as much as my nose. <sighs> right. You, uh, that makes sense. It didn't feel like I was actually hearing your voice through my ears. I didn't know you could send your voice directly into my head like that. And you can hear my reply? Okay. 
That makes things harder for me, but... With your scent, I don't think I'll have any trouble finding you by smell alone. <laughs> In fact... <sighs> gotcha. Uh, uh, wait, don't run. Come on, I found you. That's good enough, isn't it? What, do you want me to chase you or something? Oh, God. You do, don't you? I shouldn't have asked. But this really isn't. This this is not the sort of thing I'm used to. All this horseplay. Don't laugh. That's exactly what it is. But, ugh. Fine. I could do with a little sport. Don't bother holding back. I think I know which one of us is faster. <clears throat> Go whenever you want. I'll give you a little head start. But no misty stepping or whatever else it is you can do. Okay? This needs to be fair. <laughs> I'll do my best not to transform. But I can't make any promises. Hunting you down with your scent on my nose, I don't know how I'm going to control myself. You really drive me crazy, you know. In fact, I don't know what might happen when I catch you, but if it gets to be too much, just say, uh, Ancelander, and I'll try to regain control, yeah? Okay. Ready when you are. Just run. <sighs> All right. I know you're here somewhere. You've done well to evade me so far, but I'm afraid your time is up. You've given me a real run around, you know. Uh, you're more slippery than I expected. But I hope you know that I will find you. And when I do, you're fucked. <sighs> oh, yes. Uh, much stronger now. You must be nearby. You might as well come out. You know I'm gonna find you. Come on. Uh, oh. <laughs> that was a trick, wasn't it? A spell. Yeah. Oh, you're in big fucking trouble now. I said no magic. <sighs> I've got you. Come here. <clears throat> no. No, you don't. <clears throat> Come here. <laughs> there. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Knew I'd get you eventually. You didn't stand a chance, not really. Although I have to congratulate you. You actually made me sweat a little. But I don't mind, because it seems I've got you sweating too. <clears throat> yeah. I did say I'd try not to transform. And I did try. Sort of. <laughs> but I couldn't resist. And now I'm glad I didn't. Because with my heightened sense of smell, you... <sighs> Fuck. Yeah. You smell so good. <sighs> What's that squirming for? You think you can escape? No, no, no. I've got you now. You're pinned. In fact, you're even more fucked now than when we were back in your cabin a few weeks ago. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm on top of you. There's nothing you can do. I can even stop you squirming if I wanted to. But I won't. It feels good. <sighs> can do now. 
not to bite you, I'd rip you to pieces right now. In fact, uh, oh. Right. Okay. Is it just me, or is the forest getting lighter to you, too? I think... I think we're almost there. Hmm. I think we might be getting near the edge of it. That's good. As far as I know, the border is right on the other side of these trees. So, whatever it is that's waiting for us there, we should come across it pretty soon. How are you holding up? Been a long journey. <laughs> but you haven't complained at all. At least not seriously. <laughs> no. I'm not letting you ride on my back. I mean, unless you really want it. But I'm pretty sure you're joking, aren't you? <laughs> Trying to get better at picking up on that. issue is that I think I'd enjoy it a little too much. <laughs> uh, I'm really grateful that you came along on this journey with me, you know, even if it was just for your help in all the fights we've been in, I'd be grateful, but it is so much more than that. Your companionship has kept me warm and happy on what would have been the loneliest nights. And as much as I like to think I can hold my own, you saved me. You've saved my life on more than one occasion. I'm indebted to you forever. <laughs> no, I'm not going soft on you, or oh, maybe, but, oh no, it's that, I just fear that whatever we're about to face, whatever there is at the border that's kept these realms divided for so long, it'll probably be our greatest challenge yet. Now, I know you can handle yourself. Obviously. <laughs> you handle yourself better than I do. You've proven that time and again. But still, there's... I don't know what to prepare for. No idea. So, um... <sighs> yes, okay. I'm scared. Not for me, but for you. Because I care more than I ever thought I would about someone. The connection we have is not something I thought I'd have to think about. I've never had to worry about someone else before. At least not for a long, long time. In fact, I, I've been thinking about this a lot for the past few nights. The closer we get to the border, the more I've thought about it. And, well, now's the time. So, I think you should go. I think you should travel back home on your own. I know. I know we've come a long, long way. And it was a dangerous journey. But think about it. It will be safer you doing it on your own than it was with me. 
you're stealthier and smarter and you're not anybody's main target and even if you do get into trouble you're better than me at getting out of it you'll be fine I'm being quite serious yeah I'm not joking I wouldn't joke about this I've been happy to travel with you so far in a land that we're both mostly familiar with but crossing the border with you there are just too many unknowns there's too much potential danger I can't account for I don't want to risk it I don't want to risk you the thought of risking your life on some stupid fool's errand like this has been keeping me up at night I can't I can't do it I yeah I'd forgotten that we'd already had this conversation right at the start of our journey before we set out together <laughs> what was it you said I was worried about how dangerous the border would be. You said something like, what if there's nothing actually there? That was it, wasn't it? <sighs> yeah. Mm. You had me pretty convinced at the time. I guess. The anxiety has set back in. in all these weeks I've had to think about it. The fear of the unknown is strong. <sighs> Tell me, how confident are you, actually, that there won't be anything dangerous at the border? Were you just saying that so I'd give in and bring you with me? completely bullshitting it or do you actually think that do you truly think it's possible that after all these decades centuries that the only thing keeping people away from the border is fear not of anything in particular but of what might be it can't be that simple can it I guess it has worked on me. It's working right now. The fear. That fear is what's making me say all this. <sighs> when we were... <laughs> when we were hundreds of miles away from the border, it was so much easier not to be afraid. Much, much easier to believe that what you're saying might actually be true. But now I'm faced with it. I don't know. It's harder to trick myself into thinking that there might truly be nothing there at all. Just seems so unlikely. I don't know how you tricked me into believing it in the first place. about it, the more I realize how stupid it was to bring you along. Uh, now I feel like I'm stuck with you. You know, if I just left you in your little house, I probably would have. I mean, I'd have missed you for a few days, maybe a week. Maybe longer. But I think I could have moved on. Yeah. Now, though. 
not a chance. If we parted ways, I'd be. But it might still be for the best. I don't know. What would be worse? Heading into the great unknown together and possibly dying side by side or going on myself and possibly dying but at least with the knowledge that you're safe even if I'll never see you again. Gods! What kind of choice is that? What would you pick? Actually, no. Don't tell me. I can guess. It's the first one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I thought as much. That's very... Uh, <laughs> it's romantic, isn't it? In a stupid way. Like the old legends. I think some people might say that dying side by side isn't worth it for a romantic gesture. But those people aren't werewolves or changelings. They haven't been driven to the ends of the earth together by a society that shuns them. So they wouldn't understand. But I still can't. I still can't get over the fear of you dying. How do I get over that? <sighs> Be strong. <sighs> I thought I was. I mean, I thought the idea of making you turn back for your own good not for mine. I thought that was the strong choice. Maybe what I need is to let myself be weak for once. What do you think? Should I give in? Should I give in to you? given me my answer. Oh, I think I need a little more just to be certain. side. Whatever it is we're about to do. What was it about that kiss? I mean, it felt different. It really did something to me. Uh, I don't know. It's as though, uh, as soon as it started, the choice I needed to make was obvious. Obviously, you were going to come with me. I felt like an idiot for even considering the alternative. <laughs> Why would I? Why would I want you to go? Even if there's a bit of risk. <sighs> Stupid idiot. <laughs> no, uh, I'm clearless. Wait, did you do something? Is that it? Like, a spell? Did you just do some magic on me that made me change my mind? Have you bewitched me? <laughs> Why are you laughing? And what does 
not in that way. I mean, are there other ways to bewitch someone? I don't really know about magic and... Oh. Fuck. <sighs> That's what it is, isn't it? You. I... what it is. How did I know? I think... I think we should have one more night together. It's getting dark. Before we break through the edge of this forest, let's make camp. Sleep together. <sighs> Whatever's waiting for us on the other side, I want to have shown you how much I love you before we face it. you do. Perhaps go for another round. But we could get caught up doing that forever, I fear. With us, <laughs> there would be no end to it. So, it's time to make the call. Mm. Let's get up and find out what fate has in store for us. Are you afraid? Mm. Not as much as I was before. Not much at all, really. You seem able to quell all my fears. Thank God for you, eh? Huh. Let's set off. We're only a few minutes away from the edge of the forest, I reckon. Just... A quick walk away from finding out how fucked we are. Or not fucked, as you'd have me believe. <laughs> You've done a good job of convincing me. Um, I've been wondering about something. It's quite personal. But I think we're beyond worrying about asking personal questions, aren't we? <laughs> That's true. I know of folks who've been married for decades and know less about one another than we do. Can't afford to be cagey when your whole life is in the hands of another. We have to trust each other. Anyway, um... I've been wondering if you think... Obviously you'll say no, but... If you think you'll feel any differently about me when... Or if I take the cure, if it exists, that is. <sighs> yeah. See, I knew you'd say that. I'd say just the same about you, I'm sure. And I know I'd mean it. But are you really sure you mean it? I mean, think deeply about this. It's not like... 
Um, I mean, me being a werewolf, it's affected our relationship in a lot of ways. Uh, well, we wouldn't even be together if I wasn't. I wouldn't have been on the run from anyone, so I wouldn't have broken down your door. <laughs> and even if we somehow still met, it was your smell. Do you remember? That's when I really went crazy for you for the first time. That smell of yours that I could only detect with the keen senses of the wolf. That's what made me realize how special you are. Uh, and then, even after that, how I... Ugh, I'm not good at talking about this sort of thing, but... Our sex life, it's like, I think me being what I am has played a big role in that, right? I, for me, the animalistic urges, they've really come to the fore when making love with you. <laughs> Sorry if it's embarrassing for me to say so, but it seems like you enjoy that. I'm not wrong, am I? No. So, I'm worried, although I'm sure it's stupid, about taking this cure and those things that we love about our relationship disappearing. Have you ever wondered about that? Nah. Of course, I didn't think you would have. This is just me overthinking things. I'm not normally like that, you know. I don't usually worry about this sort of thing. I think that might just be because nothing in the past has mattered to me as much as we do. What was there to worry about, you know? Nothing. But now... Yeah. I've got a lot more to lose. <sighs> so, what do you think? Now I've brought it up, do you think it might have an effect on us somehow? You're sure? You're certain that you wouldn't miss that side of me? I mean, who knows, maybe it'll stick around, even after I take the cure. It could do. And that's if there even is a way to make a cure for this. I'm sure you'll still drive me crazy in a certain kind of way. But I'm not stupid, you know. I understand how alluring the idea of a werewolf is. At least aspects of it. To many, there's nothing alluring about it. I'm a monster. But not to you. I don't know. I'm not used to caring what other people think about me. But how you feel about me really matters. Makes me nervous. Stupid, really. Uh, I know. I know I've got nothing to worry about. I'll worry nonetheless, apparently. But thank you for... Whoa. Is this... It? The trees stop just up ahead. This is the edge of the forest. Do you see anything? Hear or smell or taste anything? <laughs> yes, other than me. Other than you. Let's take it slow. Wait. Hear that? Running water. There must be a river or something. I guess that's to be expected. It's normal for a border 
to follow the path of a river, isn't it? Suspiciously normal. <sighs> it's just a river. I mean, it's a pretty big river, but just a river. <sighs> Do you see anything else? I don't know. Me neither. Just water. Well, I'm not afraid of water. If this is what was keeping people from the border, then... <laughs> I don't know what to say. Can you swim? Oh. Well, um... You're small. You can just ride on my back. I'm a strong swimmer. It'll be fine. The water isn't flowing that fast. Hell, doesn't even look that deep. I reckon I could probably wade across, and with you on my shoulders, you wouldn't even need to get wet. Oh, hmm, you're right. The water itself. There could be something treacherous about it. I don't know what it could be, but... Let's be careful. Let's just dip our toes in first. Um, I'll go first. I'm just going to dip a toe in. I'm not going to start crossing without you. Okay? Don't worry. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <sighs> I can't get my foot out, it's like it's holding it in. Take my arm. Pull. Wait. What the fuck is the river doing? Is that... It's taking shape. Pull me out. What is that? Looks like a person made of water, but... It's fuck. It must be 20 feet tall. 30 maybe. Holy shit, pull me out. Fuck me, it can talk. to say, I told you so, but, uh, uh, ow. Uh, okay, fine, I won't say it, but I do now understand why people are so afraid of the border. Uh, have you ever seen anything like that before? No, nor have I. What the fuck do we do now? I don't want to mess with that thing. I daren't risk dipping my toe in there again. Chances are it'll just do the same thing again. I think it must be some kind of magical security system designed to scare people. An illusion. But I don't want to risk it. Who knows how serious it is when it says turn back or perish. Have, uh... Have you got any way of knowing? Can you, like, tell if it's magic or not? Uh, is there some kind of spell you can do? <laughs> oh, I'm not used to you saying that something's beyond your abilities. Ow! Okay, sorry. God. All I can think is that we'll have to walk along the shore. And I hope that we find some place where we can cross without touching the water. I doubt there's a bridge anywhere, but maybe rocks or something that we could use as stepping stones. Uh, yeah, 
Uh, I don't know. I don't have any better ideas. Let's walk for a bit. See what we see. One thing's for sure. I think we found the border. We've been walking for hours, and I haven't seen a single place where we could cross without touching the water. I think we might be out of luck. You seen anything? Uh, of course you would have said. Well, we need another plan. We could be following the course of this river for days before we found something, if we ever do. But I'm at a loss. Ugh. Yeah. Clueless. Well, it's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. We need to find something to eat, don't we? I don't think we've got anything in reserve. <sighs> no. Nothing. Fine. I'll... Wait. Look. Dear... That's good timing. It hasn't spotted us. Stay quiet. I'm gonna shoot it. I need to be quick, it looks like it's about to cross the river. Won't be able to harvest it if it does. What? Stop hitting me. Get off, it's about to go in the water. Get off. Fuck. Now look what you've done. It's in the water now. We're not going to be able to... Oh. Oh. I see what you mean. The water... It didn't react. Look, the deer's already on the other side. Hmm. Interesting. Hey. Punch me again. Yeah. Hit me again, on the nose or something, really hard, really make me feel it. Uh, just... Don't let me explain myself, just do it. <sighs> okay, fine. The deer was able to cross the river no problem, right? And earlier, when the water was speaking, it said, Human, turn back, or whatever. It specifically said, human. Yeah... So I'm thinking, whatever it is, if this river is enchanted or whatever, it only reacts if a human tries to cross, but not some other kind of thing. So, I wanted you to hit me so that I could take on my hybrid form. I can't really do it willingly without being compelled to. Anger or pain tends to do the trick. I don't know if it'll work, but I think it's worth a try. Yeah. See, I, I can come up with good ideas sometimes. This is just the first time it's happened since we started traveling together. Now, hit me. I need something to get me riled up if I want to take on my other form. My, a better idea. Okay. Fine. I mean, I'd rather not get hit. What's your... See, that's maybe a better way of doing it than punching me in the face. Yeah. It's a coincidence and this part of the river would have let us cross anyway. 
Whatever. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> yeah. Um. What if you dropped your human guys? Take on your true changeling form. Just when we cross the river. Would you mind? I know you're a little shy about it. But I think it has to be done. the first sign of life we've seen since yesterday morning, isn't it? When that farmer chased us off his land. Hmm. Maybe we'll get a warmer welcome in there. I doubt it, but it's worth a try, isn't it? At least nobody knows our faces here. No reason to worry about being spotted. I don't know if you've noticed, I'm sure you have, but the last mile or so of this road have looked a little more well-travelled. Might just mean this is a popular route for farmers herding their cattle, but could also mean that we're nearer to proper civilization, and to someone we might be able to ask about the Hunter's League. Uh, no. It doesn't really surprise me that we've seen nobody so far. At least nobody with an interest in talking to us. It's what I expected. For everybody here to be afraid of the border. Just like they are where we come from. They use the same psychological tricks to maintain that no man's land on both sides. Uh, if we find someone in there who is willing to talk to us... We should watch what we say. Remember that werewolf hunter you spoke to one time? He said that the werewolf hunters and the vampire hunters communicated occasionally, at least before the vampire hunters disbanded after the cure was successful. If they still communicate in some way, which they may do, it's possible they've heard about us. We should be careful about giving anything away that could identify us to them. Uh, I think the safest way to play it would probably be to say that we're simply visitors, hoping to visit the former home of a historic league, purely out of uh, academic interest. But I'm not sure, looking the way we do, we'd get away with that. At least I don't think I would. Not with all these scars. You could change your appearance, of course. Going on your own again. Hmm. Maybe that would be the better option. But... Uh, I don't know. <sighs> I... I don't like leaving you to do things on your own. Just feels too risky. I didn't like it a whole lot when you did it before. With that werewolf hunter. Now my feelings for you are stronger than they've ever been, so... Ugh. No. Some other option that doesn't involve you being so vulnerable. Hmm. What if, uh, what if we said we were werewolf hunters in the region with a message for the former leader of the League? That could work. We certainly have enough information about werewolves to convince them, I'd have thought. And, hold on. Uh, uh, yeah, I've still got this guild crest. The one I nicked off those hunters that ambushed us just outside Tribor. Fucking idiots. 
This should be enough, I reckon, if anybody asks for some kind of ID. Good thing I managed to clean all the blood off. <sighs> Good. Okay. We've got something of a plan. All probably pointless. Chances are nobody in there will know much. I bet it'll all be farmers. Worth a try, though. <sighs> all right. Ready? Let's go in. Evening, all. <clears throat> I'm looking for someone to direct me to the headquarters, or former headquarters, of the League of Vampire Hunters. Well, don't all talk at once. I'm here on official business, as an envoy representing the Werewolf Hunters Guild. <laughs> Helpful bunch, aren't they? Oh, I know, who's this then? From the Werewolf Hunters Guild, you said? The old WHG. They still call you Wigs, or has that terrible nickname finally died out? <clears throat> uh, no, we still get it occasionally. I don't mind. Nice and short, isn't it? Indeed. Well, if it's directions you're after, I could help. Although I fear it'll be a wasted journey for you. I hope you haven't come far. The League was disbanded decades ago. Surely you already know that, though. The Guild and League communicated regularly before they disbanded, didn't they? Yeah, they... we did. How do you know? Do you have connections with the League? Of a sort. My father was a member. Not a hunter. He was too much of a coward for that. He was something of a squire for them. Spent years running around after them. Polishing their boots. No wonder me mum left him. If I were him, I would have been out there cutting down those monsters and relishing it. God, it's a tragedy what happened. A tragedy? What, the cure? Yeah. Oh, of course, some bleeding hearts in and out of the league thought it was a good idea. And to their credit, it worked. For now. But I'm not stupid, and nor are a lot of us. We saw the true nature of those animals. They might pretend to be cured now, but it's only a matter of time. One day, you'll all regret allowing the League to be disbanded. Hmm. I've heard this before. From some wigs, I mean. We've, uh, got a similar problem of our own. That's exactly the reason I'm here, in fact. I need to talk to any surviving members of the League about it. Oh, I... Okay then. I was never associated with the League myself. Too young. By the time I were old enough, they'd shut down. A real tragedy. All that's to say, I never visited the headquarters myself, but I know roughly where it is. Here, I'll show you. <clears throat> now, see this road. That's us. Follow it east, then northeast for a good while. Bridge here over the river. At this three-way crossroads, you want to go left. At north. Keep the river on your left. Ignore all the turnings. Eventually you'll see a water mill. Take the next right turn after that, following the road a few miles. Think you should find the headquarters up there. That's it? That's it? You'll have to remember it, though. I can't lend you this map. They're rare around these parts. Good, accurate ones like this, anyway. Right. Um, uh, thank you. I think we can remember that. Uh, you've, uh, done the Werewolf Hunters Guild a great service. Of course. If it helps you in the fight against those monsters, I'm happy for it. Got one of them slowly for me as thanks, would you? Uh, yeah. Sure. Let's go. Oh, God, this rain. It's not gonna let up, is it? Since we crossed the border, it's been almost constant. We never get this much rain back home. It's almost making me regret this whole trip. Ugh. No. It could rain twice as hard and I'd still want to be here. But I am sick of my feet being wet. 
They must be so wrinkly. Ugh. I'm afraid of taking my boots off and finding out when we eventually get there. Can't you do some magic or something to dry them off? I knew a fellow once that could do simple little things like that with magic, you know? He was useless otherwise. Wouldn't have been able to do all the big stuff you've done, hurting people and that. But he could clean and dry things. Ran a laundry in Baldur's Gate, put everyone else out of business. <laughs> he was a total idiot otherwise. You can. Um, what, you've kept it to yourself? Have you been cutting about with nice dry feet this whole time without doing it for me too? You fucker. Oh, what? You want me to beg? Uh, fine. Please. Please do the whatever spell, magic thing, whatever it is, to dry my boots. Okay, please. I'm asking nicely. Uh, I'll kneel. If you promise to dry my legs, too. Hmm. Fine. Ugh. Uh, please. Please dry my boots. I'm sick of having cold, wet feet. Please. Yes, my knees do. All of me. I don't want to be wet anymore. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, God. That feels so good. Thank you. In this weather, I'll be wet again in no time, but... Even temporarily, this is a huge relief. Still, can't believe you didn't tell me you could do that for so long. That's just evil. You're an evil person. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. I must have terrible taste to be travelling with someone like you. What's wrong with me, hmm? I need to think more carefully about who I travel with in future. <laughs> uh, Alright, no. It's not all bad. But still, I think I'd prefer to travel with someone who didn't think it was funny to leave me looking like a drowned rat. What? No. I do not always look like a rat. Doesn't even make sense. I'm a werewolf, not a were-rat. At least be accurate if you're going to insult me. Why <sighs> do I let you get away with this? I wouldn't let anybody else talk to me like that. If they did, I'd tear them to pieces. But somehow you're immune. How does that work? I'm still not 100% convinced you haven't got me under some kind of spell, you know. I know we've been through it, but... Ugh. Yeah, okay. Love and all that. Fine. I still think you're damn lucky that I haven't ripped you to bits. Although, sometimes I get the feeling that you'd like that. What's that about? Hmm... I think you do know what I'm talking about. But whatever. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. For now. Hold on then. What's this? A fork in the road. With no sign. Damn. I don't remember that fella telling us about this when he was giving us directions. He said take the first right after you pass the mill, didn't he? And that was it. Follow the road, you'll find the headquarters. Definitely didn't say anything about a fork. Uh, I don't see anything to say which way the headquarters might be. Ugh. Do you remember if this was on that map he showed us? Fuck, I wish we had a map of our own. Oh, no. Is that... It is... You've a map. Where'd you get that from? You didn't. Did you nick it from him? <laughs> you sly fucker. I thought I saw a bit of a glint in your eye when he was talking. When do you decide to do that? 
Oh, I bet it was when he said that thing about gutting a werewolf, wasn't it? Yeah. Serves him right, the arsehole. He's lucky it's just a map we took and not his life. Nah. Don't surprise me there are people like him around. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Something tells me his lot are a bit of a joke around here. I doubt they have any real power. Mm, now, the map. Uh, yeah, look, there is a fork here, and I reckon this building is the League. It's the only structure within a mile or two, it's got to be that. So, uh, we want to fire that road. The right fork. Good. Uh, you know, every time I think I've expressed as much gratitude as I can, you want up me again. I'm lucky to be travelling with someone who has such a deft hand as you. I've never been any good at the sneaking around, nicking things, picking locks, all that. These big paws of mine just weren't made for it. It does make me wonder how things might change when, or if I'm cured. I wonder if I'll be less hairy. <laughs> Do you think you'd miss it? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I thought you might say that. Mm, uh, I think I'd miss it a bit too. Small price to pay though, if it ever happens. God, um, I need to get a grip. The closer we get, the more I start thinking that this is really going to happen. I need to remind myself that it's such a tiny tiny chance. It all relies on so much luck. Mm. True. We've been lucky so far. Lucky we found a guy who could point us to the headquarters. Lucky we got across the border unscathed. I'm lucky I met you. But still, I feel like if we're any more lucky we'd really be taking the piss. I just feel like the chances of us finding the guy who made the cure and him being willing to work with us and it even being possible seems so tiny sometimes. Yeah. Though that said, it has been fun, this, hasn't it? I mean, even if it turns out to have been a waste of time, it's been kind of fun. And the land we're in now, it's surely a safer place to live as we are, without being cured, as there's no group of bloodthirsty hunters after us everywhere we go. We could, maybe, make a life here. Whichever way it goes with the cure. It might be nice to settle down after all this. Yeah, me and you. I think I'd be pretty happy with that. Still, better not to be doomed to turn into a howling, slathering beast every full moon if I can help it, eh? Even if you do secretly like it a little bit. Let's get on. We should be there soon. I think this is it. This is the headquarters of the Vampire Hunters League. Don't see a sign or anything, but looks the sort, doesn't it? Needs a bit of TLC, maybe. Lick of paint. <laughs> nice building, though. Yeah, it seems quiet to me, too. Much quieter than I expected. I don't see or hear anybody around. I was sure, despite having disbanded, there'd still be some kind of presence of the League here, you know? A skeleton crew. Ugh, I don't know. 
Maybe it isn't the right place. But... Hmm. Nah, there. Look. A crest above the door. Kind of worn, but that looks like a stake, doesn't it? Hmm. Very original. I think this must be it. And look, there. There's a light in that window. Someone must be in. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? We just go up and ask? Tell them everything? Hmm. The whole point of this journey was to find the one who made the cure, right? And I'm thinking, if someone went through all the effort of curing vampirism instead of just going on killing vampires, they must have been pretty open-minded. Not like that fella back at the inn. If they were, uh, uh, what's the word? Compassionate, yeah. Compassionate. Good word. Thank you. If they were compassionate enough to cure vampirism instead of just keeping on killing vampires, then they could probably extend that, their compassion, to a werewolf as well. That's... That's what I've been hoping this whole time, at least. If I can't trust them, this whole thing would be pointless. Oh, of course, it could just be a squatter living in there now. Who knows? Only one way to find out. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Hmm. You see any movement from inside? Where that light is? Huh? Okay. Taking their time, aren't they? Whoever they are. I wonder if we're about to meet an original member of the Vampire Hunters League. Or, oh, I don't know, it's been a long time. Perhaps they're all dead. I just hope... Oh. I'm not the only one who took their time. I've been expecting you. You, uh, you heard that. Naturally, you were right outside my front door. It's thick, but not that thick. Um, sorry. Forgiven. Come in. You think we can trust them? I can still hear you. Fuck. And I fear you do not have much of a choice other than to trust me. Either you do so and enter, or you don't and turn back, thereby wasting your entire journey, which I know to have been long and arduous. So please, step over the threshold. I assure you I have no ill will against you. <sighs> I guess. Okay. Close the door behind you, please. Come and sit with me. Gotta say, this isn't what I expected from the headquarters of the Vampire Hunters League. It's... Comfy. Like someone's living room. Yes. I've made some changes to the original layout. It seemed rather pointless keeping it as it was, now the League... Well, no longer exists, for all intents and purposes. It was disbanded. I'm sure you've heard about that on your journey here. We have. Hmm. It was decades ago, yet it remains strong in people's minds. Not much else happens around here to occupy them, I suppose. We've been at peace for years. It's almost boring. Anyway, I'm glad you're finally here. I've been eager to meet you. You have? Oh, yes. The werewolf and the changeling. I hope you expected word to have reached me. But from your expressions, perhaps not. Well, well. I hope, then, it is a pleasant surprise. Ah, uh, I... We... Uh, 
Yeah, exactly. Like they said. How did you know? Mm -hmm. I received a rather threatening missive from the leader of the Werewolf Hunters Guild some months ago. They cannot cross my river, but occasionally use some rather expensive magic to transmit a letter if they feel an urgent need to communicate. They thought, even then, that you might try to reach me. Rumours of your plans had spread. Of course, I wanted nothing to do with those brutes. They never seemed to realise that the wigs and the vampire hunters stopped seeing eye to eye many years ago. In any case, I've had a familiar keeping eyes on you ever since. Although, I had it turn away when I felt you two needed privacy. Oh, I thought we'd, uh, sort of kept our mission a secret. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm afraid not. It's a good thing you moved as quickly as you did. They were eager to get ahead of you, beat you to the border before you crossed it, and slipped out of their hands entirely. I'm ever so glad you managed it. Oh yes, changeling, I know why you're here. Mm. A cure for lycanthropy. How nostalgic. But what about you? Your wolf friend here, well, we'll get to him. But are you content to remain as you are? Hmm. Valiant. I respect it. I suppose it is rather easier when you're in total control of your abilities. You can hide in plain sight. For a werewolf, ah, not so. Anybody who knows the signs could spot one from a hundred yards. The eyes, the hair, the scars. Tricky. Plus, there's no full moon for you to worry about. <laughs> yes. I suppose the risk of being torn apart by the one you love is worth a little worry. That aside, there's nothing I could do to turn a changeling into a human even if you wanted me to. Unlike lycanthropy or sanguinare vampiris, being a changeling is not a disease to be cured. It is simply what you are. I'm glad you're comfortable with it. So, can you help me? Oh, yes. I have what you seek. That's... Are you telling me... That's it? A cure? Hmm. I've had this prepared for some time. Years, in fact. I tried many, many times to work with the werewolf hunters, to get them to adopt this cure and use it, instead of mindlessly killing every sufferer of lycanthropy they came across. I'm afraid to say I failed. They refused to even acknowledge the existence of this cure. It was hard enough working with the vampire hunters all those years ago. The wigs are on another level of brutality. So I'm glad you're here. I probably don't have much time left, so being able to see this through before I pass is wonderful. Take it. It's untested, of course, but I see no reason why it shouldn't work. The theory is exactly the same as that for the cure of vampirism. I'm quite confident. Are you going to take it now? I... I don't... You look flustered. Hmm. Take some time to think it over. Perhaps you should sleep on it. I have a very comfortable guest room that you both are welcome to stay in. Though, having come all this way, why hesitate? It's just that... This has been my life for so long. I think I've forgotten how to be any other way. Did you have that feeling? Yes. And truth be told, there were some things that I missed about being a vampire. Huh. I haven't thought about all of that for quite a while. It took some getting used to. You too. The werewolf and the changeling. You're in love, aren't you? Yes. Oh, how sweet, answering at the same time like that. 
Delightful. Hold on to that. It's what got me through it. What about me will change? Do you know? I can't be sure. But most likely you will completely lose most of the attributes you gained after being bitten. None of mine persisted. I really missed those cheekbones. <laughs> Though it was nice to be able to see myself in a mirror. Yes, I expect you'll lose a lot of hair. The additional strength and heightened sense of smell. In a way, it is a sore loss. But if I were you, I would think it would be worth it. It was worth it for me to regain my humanity. Typical, though, that my beloved passed before I did. I was really hoping they would outlast me. Alas. Hmm. I'll leave you two to talk about this and come to a decision without my overbearing presence making it harder. There's a lot to think and to talk about. The choice is in your hands, quite literally. The guest room's just through that door. I sleep upstairs and on the other side of the building, and the walls are quite thick. Don't worry about anything else being overheard. Good night. Okay. What just happened? Do you think this shit's real? That, that could have been anyone, but... I don't know. He seemed to know what he was talking about, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've much to lose. I mean... This could be a poison, I guess. It could kill me. Now it could kill me even if he doesn't intend for it to. He said it hadn't been tested. I don't know how I feel about being that fella's guinea pig. Hmm. Ugh. Ugh. Smells grim. Potent, I guess. At least I don't have to drink much of it. I have no idea how I feel. We did come all this way for this, but now is such a huge change. And what he said, losing some of my strength, the keen sense of smell, <laughs> the hair even, I've gotten used to it. And, and, well, I know there are some things about the way I am now that you like and I like you liking that it feels good and true what if I can't lift you up so easily anymore what if that instinct to chase you oh god I feel stupid talking about this but it's been fun it's been a relationship like I've never had I'll miss it, if that goes. I'll still love you, and want to stay with you. Of course I will. But it'll be a shame to lose that side of things. Yeah. I was thinking the same. One last night of fun, together, while I'm still. Like this. Then I'll take it. I'll take the cure in the morning, and we can begin life afresh. Mm. I think you know what to do to get things started.
pull away from me and run. Run out the door. I'll hunt you down. 